Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Matt Lown attempts to play the console version of Kerbal Space Program. Once again we return to Potato Aerospace, uh, the, uh, the save file I'm currently running, in order to try and unlock the tech tree. But very specifically I'm trying to unlock the Mun Base, which we should hopefully unlock this episode. Where's R&D? There it is. So for those out of the loop, the console version of KSB has a little thing that the PC version doesn't have, and that's this node here. Where is it? There it is. Look! I was, trying to, <laughs> I was about to move my mouse on my desk before I realised I'm using a controller on the PS4. But there, look at that. Rewards. You get a MUN launch site. And I reckon we can unlock that this week. Um, and that, that's it, actually. I just wanted to see what that looked like because it's not available on the PC version. And uh, what can I say? I'm just a suckler for mystery, I guess. So, uh... Did I say suckler or sucker? I meant sucker. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, uh, we're going to basically continue as we have been, just building rockets to get to uh, places. Now, this was not a very good start to the commentary because, as I have been doing uh, before, we're going to be doing the commentary live. I mean, the whole reason uh, I'm doing console playthrough is not just to satisfy my curiosity about the uh, the appearance of the Mun base, but more specifically, it's due to the fact that I've still got a splint on my right hand. So using a computer mouse to play the PC version of KSP, it's a little bit difficult. However, uh, very soon, like from Monday, hopefully, I should be able to have my splint off. And from then on, I can just go back to making PC content. So th this could well be the final installment of um, LAN Aerospace, the potato one, whatever I called this. Potato Aerospace. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to continue with this series after I've kind of got my splint off? It won't be every week like we've been doing so far because I don't, I'm not forced to play the console version anymore. I can go and do other things. Where is the Terrier engine? There it is. Uh, but, you know, wh whatever. Wh what are your thoughts? Have you enjoyed this this series so far? I mean, my views have been pretty terrible, so I'm guessing the consensus is not really, but I'm open to uh, alternate opinions. Now, did I mention what I was going to do this week? I'm going to go to the Mun. We can see if we can find the Mun launch site. I don't even know if it would... Would it even spawn? Is it like an Easter egg, or is it literally it doesn't even exist in the game until you um, until you unlock it? Anyway, uh, the rocket is very similar to the rocket we launched last week, which went to Minmus, but I'm adding an additional Terrier stage, because the Mun, even though it's closer to Kerbin, ultimately requires a bit more Delta V to do a surface return from, because it has much higher surface gravity than Minmus. It takes a lot more Delta V to uh, land on and return from. So we've got this upper stage is the lander, this stage is the, uh, the transfer stage, and then we need, obviously, a, a launch stage, because the Terrier engine... It's great for the vacuum of space, not very powerful for the for the sea level of Kerbin. So for our main core, I'm going to put a swivel engine underneath those two big fuel tanks there. Where is it? The swivel engine. There we are. Swivel engine has thrust vectoring, which is very nice. We can also add four fins as well. Oh, we're spoiled for choice, aren't we? We'll go with the standard ones because we don't really need uh, actuating fins because the swivel engine has... Uh, thrust vectoring, as I just said. Are they central? Looks about right, don't it? Uh, this isn't really enough to get us to the MUN. We also need to add a couple more things. We're going to add two of these bad boys. Two, like that. Let's try and stick a... Um, uh, here? Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to very clumsily and awkwardly use the controller. There we go. Um, by the way, did I mention, I feel like I got sidetracked again, but uh, I'm doing these things in live commentary simply because editing videos is very, very difficult with only one hand and my left hand at that, which is not my dominant hand. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I would save some time, uh, well, not save some time, but like save my, my hat, my pain a little bit further. Oh, goodness. Go on. There we go. By, uh, removing the need to edit videos to the extent I edit videos normally. So that's good. Uh, we do need to add a, a couple more tanks, though. So a couple more like that. And then we'll have more engines down here. But they don't need to be the Swivel. We can have the Reliant. Reliant is a little bit more powerful than the Swivel. And it has a slightly higher... Oh, I said the same thing. It's a little bit more powerful than the Swivel, and it's slightly lighter as well. The compromise, though, is that it doesn't have the thrust vectoring. So it makes a great side booster. But for the central core, it's better to have the uh, the swivel to steer the thing. Now, this is probably going to be quite a wobbly rocket. 
Oh, actually, before, before I forget, we're also going to add some fuel lines. These yellow fuel lines will ensure that the side boosters drain before the central core. So that when we stage these side boosters, it'll leave the central core stage filled with fuel. Uh, because all three engines will only pull from those side tanks, including the central engine. Which is a nifty little feature. That's I believe that's what the original plan was going to be for the Falcon Heavy. But uh, it was a bit too complicated. So as far as I'm aware, there are no real-life rockets that uh, that use a system like this. Although I'm now putting Cunningham's Law to the test because now I'm going to get a bunch of comments saying, Oh no, actually, there's this one very specific rocket from, you know, maybe the new JAXA rocket. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, well, that's pretty much the rocket done. We do need to add a few bits and bobs to the top, though. To the lander stage, I should say, because it's not got... Uh, anything there. Where is ground? There it is. Now, should we go with big landing legs? No, I'll go with little ones. Because they look cute, don't they? Aww. We'll add four, though, for max stability. Just, uh... That looks good. Make sure they're attached to the, uh... They extend below the engine bell. That looks fine, I guess. And then we'll bring the cursor back. Up, 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 oh! I'm still not used to the controls, really. Uh, blah, 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 start re start it retracted. There we go. And now we need to add some seance. So let's have a look. We've got a few. We want the mystery goo. We're gonna add that up. Oh, we only want the one. Oh, some guy wrote in the comments about it. there's a there's a shortcut. What's it called? A hot hotkey to <laughs> to do the symmetry and stuff on console. And I forgot what they wrote. Whatever, doesn't matter. We can just struggle on. We're going to add the size monitor. I Go away. There, there we go. We want the thermometer as well. Nope, go away. Oh my gosh, it's so... I don't know how to move the mount, the camera up and down. At this point, I'm too... I'm too late on to ask. There we go. Nearly finished. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll add a magnetometer as well. Is this part of the DLC? I don't think it is. It came with the update, the ASA update. And there we are. That is a pretty nice lander. No, it's not. We need to add a couple more things. <laughs> we need to add some batteries. Two would be absolutely lovely. And we'll add a couple of solar panels. A couple of cheeky little solar panels as well. Let's put them there. Never mind. Let's just, uh, let's stick them below the, uh, oh! Actually, we'll put them here because then we'll have to ensure that the uh, set of panels are always facing the sun, which means that it will also light up the front of the cockpit, which we can paint a different color. Uh, let's have uh, white. That's 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 nice. Now I think uh, that's everything. I'm just sort of scanning the vessel, and it looks like nothing is missing. What do you think, guys? Come oh, I need to check my staging. I did not check my staging because uh, obviously using the asparagus fuel line setup, we need to have the slightly different from the default. So all three engines need to fire in the first stage. Then these deploy, that deploys, then the terrier goes, and that one... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. I'm going to try and set up an action group as well because I note it. I've just noticed our vehicle assembly building has not glitched, which means I can set up an action group. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, custom one, I guess. And then we can just run all the experiments. Observe materials bay. Because half the faff is just, um, clicking everything to run the experiment. I guess I never think about it too much on, um, PC, because it's so trivial to use the mouse. But, uh, oh, console, it's, not, it's a different story. Log seismic data, whoop, uh, log temperature. Give me some of that sweet, sweet magnetometer boom. Where there is that one there, yep. And then we want to do a crew report as well. Now that should be that. I'm just looking around, see if I can find anything else. But I can't. So we're good. And then we're going to call the rocket. Oh, what do we think? Let's call... Oh, hang on. Let's try that again. Let's call the rocket... Uh, Jeff. Why not? Okay, and we need to finally make sure that our Kerbal is Bob. Because Bob Kerman is a scientist. He can restore the Mystery Goo and Science Junior. Granting us unlimited use. 
of them. Sweet. Wicked sweet. So let's save that craft and then go to our launch. Brilliant. I'm going to have a nice sip of my Pepsi. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Wow, record time as well. Not just like an hour to build the rocket. So I'm doing well. I'm going to see if I can get this video to be under an hour. You know, these past episodes, they've not been the most concise. Let's go set the camera to free. SAS on. We're going to whack open this. Oh, that. And then we're also going to got a maneuver node thingy as well. And then we're going to zoom out. And then we're just going to launch. Just going to launch. Oh, we've got to get rid of the cursor. Just launch. Oh, throttle up as well. That would be helpful. And off we go. Golly, isn't this exciting? So uh, I'm just going to turn my volume down a bit. Sorry if that made a volume slider appear on the screen. Although I have figured out how to get my capture card to record the audio properly. So I might not have any of the ugly red record logo invisible or anything like that. But obviously you guys will know <laughs> you're watching this video. We're going to throttle down a bit now as we approach the 200 meter per second speed. And then we're just going to gradually continue our gravity turn. There goes 200 meters per second. So we are blasting along very quickly. I can actually throttle down to half thrust at this point. Because if you go too fast on your ascent, you end up wasting a lot of energy just fighting the air resistance. When really, it's more efficient to go up a little bit slower and not use all your fuel fighting the air. If that makes sense. So here we go. We're um, approaching 45 degrees uh, angle. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye as the uh, the PlayStation in the corner of the room is now getting very, very wham. <laughs> Sounds like a little jet engine over there. So obviously be grateful for the graphical prowess that is on the screens in front of you. And then we're going to continually continue continue to gradually uh, turn over like this. Now, as you can see, we've only got we've got less than 100 meters per second left in the first stage. We're going to get ready to we're gonna throttle up. And then we're going to stage. Beautiful. And that was a clean separation because what I always try and do with the side boosters is have it so the engines of the side boosters extend a little bit below the central engine. That way, when you detach them, they won't. There's a, there's a less likely chance of them uh, slamming into the central core and causing destruction of things. Uh, there we are. We're just gonna. This stage should get us all the way into space, which is nice. Um, my computer is just flashing up with an error message. Um, what's happening? So I just had to quickly lean over and change that. No, I'm sorry for the lack of commentary. Where are we on the flight? Oh, just looked back at the screen and I probably could be tilting flatter a little bit. This is great commentary, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> so what's our velocity? Oh, it's great. So we should, we look like we're on track for Delta V. We're not going to run out of fuel prematurely. My plan is for this stage to almost get us to a circular curve in orbit. But right before we reach orbit, I'm going to detach it and circularize using the upper terrier stage. That way, we're not leaving any debris left in space. And then my plan for the terrier stage is that's going to get us all the way to the Mun. And we can detach it um, such that it crashes into the side of the Mun and is not left stuck in orbit. But we'll see how much Delta V we've got to play with once we get to that part of the mission. So we've got a fairly nice high apoapsis. The apoapsis isn't really changing too much because oh, oh, the trim is playing up here. <laughs> um, I think it'd be nice to get the apoapsis a little bit higher. So I'm not going to point completely flat. I'm just watching those green numbers to the bottom left of the screen. Can we get an apoapsis past the Kerman line before we run out of Delta V in this stage? Vote now on your phones. Ah, oh, beautiful, easy peasy. So we're just going to burn the rest of this fuel up. Leave the apoapsis wherever it gets. There we are. I'd say that's a pretty, that's a pretty epic win, as the kids would say. Am I right, guys? Okay, and we're nearly at orbital velocity, which is great. So uh, I guess there's no reason to hang on to this stage any longer. I'm not a very sentimental person. Let's hold down prograde, and we'll just continue into space. Now, how do you do the uh, time warp thing again? There we are. Uh, it's going to be a, a fairly long cruise, actually, isn't it? Because we haven't got better time warp available to us. Which means that um, I can't warp faster than time, times 4 physics warp. 
Uh, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. There we are. Boom, we're in space. So I'm going to quickly make a quick save now. Save game, quick save. Yep, right. Now, let's just... Uh, our time to is three minutes. I mean, the, whoop, hang on. How do I get the map screen up? There we go. You can see we've got a fairly... It's not going to be a particularly big burn, but for completeness sake, let's just create a menu node anyway. <laughs> With great difficulty. And it's like that, isn't it? Oh, so like, yeah, very small burn. Less than 150 meters per second. You know, that would do, wouldn't it? Right, and then we're going to... Uh, how do I exit the map screen again? There we go. We're going to point along uh, this thing. <laughs> uh, where are we? So the burn time is 17 seconds. We're going to start our burn about 8 seconds to our maneuver node. Uh, well, technically 8.5 seconds, if we're going to be precise. Uh, because to do burns in the most efficient way... You oh! Oh, thank goodness I haven't started. This is the stage. Uh, burns are most efficient when you do them. So basically, you take your estimated burn time, cut it in half, and that's when you start your burn. That's how you make sure, that's how you make things the most efficient. Sorry, it's really hard to talk whilst also, like, trying to figure out the clunky controls, which I'm still not completely used to. I'm going to be honest, guys, if it wasn't obvious already. Oh, right, so there we go. We're going to stage, stage. Oh, I need to drop out of this mode, don't I? There we go. Okay, well, never mind. I didn't get... My plan didn't really go as I hoped, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, and as you can see, can't see anything. But you know it's fine. Because at the end of the day, we're all having... Sorry, I panicked and started... Got a bit shouty towards the end. We're all having fun, and that's the important thing, including young Bob there. So what I'm going to do now, before we go to the MUN, is I'm going to grab some science from experiments I haven't used yet. Because uh, we're in space near Kerbin. Uh, and I've not done a thingy. What's it called? Magnetometer boom. So we're going to uh, time warp. There we go. We're going to time warp around the daytime side. Oh, come on. You can do it. We're nearly there, Jeff. <laughs> Keep going. We're at 20 minutes. We're about we're about 20 minutes, I think. I think by the timer I've got there, I started just before I started recording, so I might not be quite as as long as that. Right. So, how do I do action groups? Uh, is that app? Wait, how do you do action groups? Edit stages. Crew. Navball. Map. App. Time warp. Docking. How do you do? Thingy. Oh, what's this? <gasps> there we go. No, never mind. So that was... Uh... Oh, cash group one. There we go. Yes! I probably didn't need to run all the experiments again, but hey, you get, like, minimal science. Or oh, wait for the magnetometer boom to extend as well. 45 science. Perfect. I probably should have made a note of, um which science experiments netted me no science, so I don't have to go ahead and take data from them, but whatever. You know, it's fine. Oh, really? I can't reach it from here? If I just scooch down the ladder a little bit, is that... Oh, mate, I'm definitely going to break that boom. I'm definitely going to break it. Collect, yes. Remove, yes. Oh. I wish there was just a thing that says remove and restore. I don't know why... Why wouldn't you ever want to just do remove and restore? You know. Uh, then we'll just quickly collect the data for these. We've got the, that. Seismic scan. Wait, no, you can't do seismic scans from space, so we don't need to do anything with that one. Do temperature. Take the data again. Where's the goo? There it is. Oh. Collect data. Yes. And restore. Nice. This is just really a track. A pra oh, how do I get. I need to retract this boom. Uh, EVA. Right, I need to like scooch up. <laughs> it's really hard for me to go with it and figure out the control. Right, so I've. Uh, that. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh my god, the controls are so bad. They are so bad. And now how do I get his jetpack on again? Um, oh god. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, it's so difficult to control. 
Is that because I'm on uh, the wrong camera? Yeah, we need free cam. Game, stop disabling free cam. There is no reason anyone should use any camera except free cam. Right. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm, I'm having to concentrate so hard. Just please, there. Well, hang on, how do I get the science off it? Do I have to get even closer? Come on. I'm so nervous. Yes! Download! Yes! I'm just gonna grab just go right round. And <laughs> um, we're just gonna grab on. Board. Nice. Okay, so that's the first the first hurdle we needed to overcome. Now we have the fun thing of having to, oh big the menu. Why is like why can't I zoom out anymore? Oh. All right, hang on. Oh, yeah, because if you have the cursor open, all the other controls are locked, even if they don't involve the cursor. Whatever. Right. Then disable the cursor. Zoom. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Let's just make a maneuver node anywhere, and then we'll go from there. Fine. We'll just drag this out. Oh, and look at that. We've got a man encounter. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother fine-tuning it. This is fine. <laughs> uh, let's see how it looks. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just, um, we'll wing it. So, we're, we're burning uh, seven minutes. Right, cool. So, we'll go off the map screen. And we will get the thingy up. There we go. And we'll time up. So, it's a one minute and 30 second-ish burn. So, we'll start burning about 45 seconds in. Oh, sorry, 45 seconds. Uh, oh, never mind. I overshot again. Quick. Auto SAS. And then we'll just wait for it to swing around. And then burn, baby, burn! And that's going to use up almost all the fuel of this terrier stage. So like I said before, uh, once we, we can just um, ditch it just when we were on a collision course with the Mun. And that will then ensure that we don't uh, leave any debris left in space. Can I go a little bit faster? Physics warp. There we go. Um... There we go. Beautiful. Now we're flying. Is that a pun? Probably not. Well, it is, but it's not a... It's not one I'm proud of, so I'm not going to acknowledge it. Right, where are we? Because we're going to find that once we start getting closer, like as the apoapsis extends, it's going to get faster and faster exponentially. So, I'm just going to keep a real close watch. Ten seconds left of the burn. Make sure, yep. Try to make sure the uh, throttle controls worked on the map, on the map screen. Okay, here we go. Oh. Beautiful. Now I'm going to just try it up a little bit. A little bit more. To the point where it's not going to be glitchy. Now that is lovely. 100 meters per second left as well. So we're going to stage. And stage. Stage. <laughs> it's a bit nerve-wracking. Okay, then we're going to open the map screen again. And then we're just going to gently throttle the rest of the way. Where's our periapsis there? Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. 36. And uh, I guess we don't really need to make a maneuver node, but I'm just going to prove that you can do it. <laughs> that I can do it. I want to prove to myself I can do it. Never mind. I can't. I can't click for some reason. There we go. Add maneuver node. Now, I pressed the wrong thing. Let me just... Uh, oh, I hate the cursor. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Bit more, bit less, bit more. To me, there we go. Two, two, three, it'll be fine. All right. <laughs> uh, we've got 2,034 meters per second. I've got but loads, basically. Uh, to land on the man and take off, it's 580 meters per second. So about, oh, I don't know, 1,200 meters per second of that is going to be our descent and ascent, and of course we need a little bit more to escape from the Munster Raven Fund, so I should be able to get science from at least one biome. So let's... What am I doing? I'm just staring blankly at the screen. That's actually everything, isn't it? So now I'm going to just uh, quick save, because I've got a terrible... You guys will know. I've got a real nasty habit of like getting impatient with time warp and just accidentally time warping past some critical mission point. I don't want physics time warp. Disable physics warp. Right, and then we go back. Oh, you see? I'm, I'm getting it. I'm good at Kerbal Space Program. Have I entered? Oh, there we go. 
didn't know if it had entered and it was just back on auto cam again and it didn't because I'm used to just watching when the camera switches and then I've changed sphere of influence. So six, five, four, three, two, one, right. And then whilst that's when we're nine seconds away from the node, that's uh, going to be the ideal place to start our burn. And look at that. Uh, best attempt at doing a burn on time so far. <laughs> Lovely. Now uh, it would make sense to land on the uh, the other side of the moon, right? Because I can't I can't see anything right now. <laughs> I have what I have been doing is I have been brightening these videos for you guys because the console version of KSP is so dark. I don't know if it's made a meaningful difference because ultimately, if the source material, if the raw footage is just black, then brightening is just going to make it grey. Right. So we're in Nun orbit. So let's do another save. And now we're in Mun Orbit. Actually, I'm going to time warp. Uh, time warp. We're going to time warp around to the day side. Just so that I can see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing. And we all just have a better time in general. Right. That should be good. Uh, and then we're going to... Uh, this. Right. Now, how do we do the thingy again? There we are. Oh, hang on. Lovely. Just wait for the magnetometer boom to extend as well. Lovely. And then, now, we can uh, gather it all. So, so what's the time? So we're going to put a timer on. Let's try and do this in under a minute. Oh, I've already gone wrong. I've gone the wrong way. So, gather that. Collect. Remove. Oh, oh I clicked the wrong one. We're going to go with the Science Junior. Good. Remove. Now we're going to do the goo. Okay, I clicked the wrong thing again. Restore. I'm going to hit the goo. And then restore. And then we're going to gather the temperature. Okay. Pressure data, I guess. Take data. And then the temperature thing. Take data. The temperature thing. The thermometer. We're going to take the crew report from the cockpit. Take the data. And then we can go on a danger EVA to uh, get the magnetometer experiment. So we're going to just let go. And of course, he's not enabled his RCS. There we are. Then we're going to just gradually put it back on. Change the camera. Oh, it was on free. Right, and then we just got. Oh, oh my gosh. Hang on. This is where I really need to concentrate. Okay, grab it, grab it, grab it. Download data. Yes. Okay. And then disabled. Oh. It's so scary, guys. It's so scary. <laughs> well, I can do an EVA report as well, actually, before I forget. EVA report. Nice. Right. Then we're just going to get back on the ship. Grab. Oh, hang on. Oh, just grab. Board. Epic. Okay, now we've got all that out of the way. How long did that take? Oh, it took ages. Okay. There was a bit more than a minute then. Save game. Quick. Oh, yep. Cool. Right. This is going to be where I potentially fail. <laughs> Doing a Mun landing for the first time on console. Can I do the gear? Nice. Preparing to land. And where are we? I want to make sure we land on the light side. So I might... I might just time up around so we start our burn when we're in the shadow. So that we're definitely, definitely going to land on the light, on the sunny side. So I'm just going to another sip of my Pepsi. Mm -mm -mm. I do get very, um, very warm when recording these live commentaries because I'm on my PC and my PS4 Pro whirring away so it generates quite a lot of heat and I got my curtains and windows closed oh. drop out of time warp oh my god drop why is it oh thanks now it does it why was it selecting met I didn't press anything oh. okay we're gonna go round again guys um yeah, was it? yeah I have to close my curtain and my window when recording these I've got everything whirring away, and it's a very small room, so the end result is that it gets very warm. So I've got a nice, an ice-cold Pepsi to try and regulate my, my internal temperature. But it's often not, you know, ideal. Right, we're going to save again, so I'm going to go through that faff again. Right, then, I guess, just uh, throttle up, I guess? I can't, I, can't, I can't even see anything. I mean, perhaps this is now uh, on the Mun surface. Uh, yeah, fine, I guess. Let's just time up a bit. Beautiful. Then we'll just wait. I've pro I might have left this a bit too late, actually. Um, drop out of time warp. There we go. Right. 
Um, God, it's just, it's so dark. It's such a dark game. Am I, is it just because I'm used to like playing with my PC settings cranked way up? Or is it, has it always been like this? <laughs> oh. I mean, we've got pretty good thrust weight ratio. I can probably start my burn fairly late. Uh, is that a bit too late? We're about to find out, I guess. <laughs> this is kind of a cool, a cool location, isn't it? Yeah, I think I could have started my burn a lot later, couldn't I? <laughs> Let's just uh, can I time off a bit further. There we go. Just enable. I, it's, oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> there we are. This is better. Just going to do some puffs with the engine like this in a plan that is almost certainly not going to fail, right? There we go. It's perfect. And we've got loads of delta V left to. Uh... Oh, there's a breaking ground thing as well there. That's cool. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances. Well, actually, I need to quickly turn on that, don't I? There we go. Yeah, if you do that talk, sorry, I'm having to really concentrate here. Also, I can't see the ground because the nav will take up so much of the screen. I guess it's, like, intended for people to play on their TVs, which, like, a bit further away than most people have their monitors, although I am, I am playing this on a computer monitor, so the UI is, like, gigantic for me. Uh, yeah, good. Kill, kill. No, don't. Oh... That is really annoying. It bounced and then tried to continue holding retrograde. Oh, please. Please tell me that I now have to do the whole thing again. I mean, please tell me I don't. That is irritating. That is really irritating. I'm really annoyed. Oh my god, it does mean I've got to do the whole thing. Unless, big brain, we do this. We toggle the gear. Now watch. Oh, but the cursor just stops it from working. <sighs> right, retract. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really don't want to waste your time any more than I already have. Right, so we need to go radially out. In fact, I can actually make it do that automatically, can't I? So radial out and extend. Damn. Oh, and I couldn't do it again because of the blooming cursor. I mean, I'm tempted to just risk it. I really don't want to have to do the moon landing over and over again. That is so irritating. I'm actually genuinely really annoyed because I'm just I'm just so used to the auto SES just switching itself off upon landing. Right, I'm going to make a quick save. Edit. Quick save egg 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 egg. Right. Save. Now I'm going to quickly see if I can get to orbit like this. So if I can, and then, like, just how do I get rid of this? There we go. Come on, come on. Please be okay. Please be okay. Oh, yes! Joe, you know I might just see you. Just to be, like, perfectionist about all this. Let's see if we can now land properly. It's going to be really difficult. I'm going to just... What I'll do is I'll just turn off SAS upon touchdown. Okay. Should I risk doing physical time walk because it's taking ages? Uh, so we've got physics warp enabled, right? I know, I want you to use physics warp though. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry any squad employees that are watching this that are like, don't like how I'm bad mouthing their port. But I mean, it's not squad that does this port, so. I don't feel like I'm burning any bridges by saying that it's overall a terrible companion to the PC version of the game. Right, and then... And turn off SAS. <gasps> turn on SAS again. 
No, please, 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 please. Oh. Yes. Okay. I think everything is fine. So, um, we could do uh, a stealth cut, really, couldn't I? And just pretend that that was my original landing. But whatever. I'm not going to do that. I'm leaving in all the blemishes. And camera's gone back to chase. I want free. I always want free. Squad, can you make an update where it's just... If, if, if my Steam username is the owner of the game, it's just always the free cam. All the other cameras are never in the game. I don't think I've ever needed to use any other camera. Now, why am, what am I trying to do? Oh, yeah, the action group thing. Right, let's run all the action groups. Now, the uh, magnetometer can't run from the surface. That saves us a bunch of time there. Then we're going to do some... Ooh, I got an achievement. Isn't that nice? Right, we're going to grab the EVA report. Yep, the dust is getting everywhere and making a mess. <laughs> and then we're going to get a, uh, a service sample, if I can decipher it through this text. Just going to drag that. Just drag that. There we go. Take a surface sample. The darker Midlands surface appears to be made of, of basaltic rocks. How fascinating. Okay, now I need to just grab a few things. I'm going to get rid of this. Right, we're going to take the data from this, remove, grab it again, and restore. Going to grab the data from this, collect, remove, and restore. And then we're going to grab the data from this, take the data, take the data. And of course we can do seismo seismometer reports. There we go. And then that's it. And we're in the Midlands, I think, aren't we? So uh, now I'm just going to let go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, and then we can just uh, plant a flag. There we are. That is a beautiful, look at that beautiful shot. So we're going to plant the flag. Uh, and there's a reason for this, not just for ego. I mentioned this in my Minmus episode. Oh, it was to get the achievement. Uh, but also because, um, where's the cursor? Oh, maybe I can't do it. Uh, Midlands. It's really good to label the biomes you've been to. So it's easier to check where you need to go on your next mission. Cool, accept. And there we go. Beautiful. Now, I feel like I spied some things nearby. Now, <laughs> cursor, there we go. Can you guy, I'm gonna turn on these lights. Now, do you guys see anything? I feel like first and foremost, I'm gonna quick save because I don't wanna have to do all the science gathering again. Right, I don't actually spam quick save as much as I do on console when I'm playing on PC, but it's just like everything takes 10,000, there we go, there's something. Everything takes 10,000 years to do. Oh God, he's gone spaghetti again. This always happens. And I'm very conscious that I actually forgot to add a ladder to my Munlander. So I do need EVA propellant left in the, t in the tank when all's said and done. Oh my god, it's just so... The controls! <laughs> Squad, please. Do I need to... Just... Yeah, because it wasn't on free cam, that's why. It was on chase cam. Maybe. Right, do a jump. No, see, I need him to just turn. How do you get the Kerbal to turn? Does, that, does it have to be chase cam, then? On the PC, the Kerbal will always just face the direction you're looking. Maybe it's got to be chase cam, then. Whatever. Ignore my ranting in that case. Right, and then... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. We're nearly there. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm so sorry. Guys, hopefully people have just fast-forwarded past this mess. Right, now let's walk over. Uh, how do I get the thing out? That, right. Good. Oh, that was needlessly complicated, wasn't it? Oh gosh, we're at like 40-ish minutes as well. And I did say I wanted this thing to be like a, under an hour if possible. Right, uh, uh, how do I get the thing? Do I have to climb on it? Oh my god, <laughs> really? Just stay on it, stay on it! <sighs> Just 
stay, stay. Thing is, like, I can't even be quick because it's so awkward. Pick up Munstone, there we go. But we did it, so it was fine. <laughs> we did it, guys. Nice. See, 120 science, it's worth it. I mean that unironically as well. Now let's go back to ship. Ooh. I'm just, again, I feel like I, I'm trying to, like, I can't do too much commentating because I'm not very good at the controls. Are they, like, way more prone to spaghettify on the console version compared to the PC version? Maybe I just got better at controlling on the PC version. Oh, my days. See, like, he's just... Uh, please, I'm just pressing everything on this controller to get him to stop. Oh, uh, here we go. Right. Let's try that again. Up. Right, and we're going to just edge over. Nice and steady. Slow and steady is Bob Kerman's middle name. <laughs> That's awful. Right, and then we're going to slow down. Oh, yes. No, don't hit the lander again. Touchdown. Epic. And again, he's not facing the direction I want him to face anymore, which is annoying. So how do I get him to turn? Does we free cam? No, chase cam? Let's just... So we've got to disable the RCS. Then turn him. And then enable the RCS. Because of course, of course, that's the best way. I'm sorry. I always, I always like, anger diehard console fans. <laughs> I'm just going to say, oh, you were making things so complicated for yourself. I was like, I don't know. I just... I, I don't know. I've got no excuse, have I? Right. Great. That's fantastic. We've probably got enough science. <laughs> Uh, how much Delta V have we got? We got loads. We could use. We could always do another biome, or we could um. We could not. Is that a different thing over there? Do you guys see what I'm seeing? That thing is that another Munstone? Shall I be cheeky and have a quick look? Shall we have a little ganders? I did save, didn't I? I'm sure I saved. Don't worry, we'll do it on the night. Uh, well, never mind. Bob just didn't really have it in him anymore. <laughs> Uh, he's been turned to spaghetti so many times on these missions. Oh, off we go. There's loads of things over there. Actually, whilst I'm in the air, well, you know, in, in, above the ground. Before you guys write your pedantic comments. Um, we got that little one before, didn't we? I think. Or did we get that one over there? That one there ahead of us looks the same, but there's a big one in the distance. I can't show you with the cursor because I will then forfeit control over the Kerbal. Oh, I'm just trying to catch a glimpse. Yeah. It does look like the same, but this one is big. Now, I can't actually remember if Kerbals can harvest the big ones themselves or if you need to bring the big scanning arms. I suspect it's the latter. But you only live once, don't you? Oh, oh my god, he turned. But now he's just spinning on the spot. Oh, mate, come on. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame the game. This is me being a bit overzealous with the throttle. And we got... I don't want to get down to like 2.5 units of EVA propellant. Because that's the halfway point. I think we'll be fine. Touching down at a comfortable 20 meters per second. Most of this is horizontal velocity, though. Which, of course, we need in order to traverse horizontally. And there we go. Let's go inside the crater. Very nice. I'm going to disable his RCS pack for anything further. Right, and then can I do a gathering? I mean, if I can't, then at the very least it's... Uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, well. Complete waste of everyone's time, then. But hey, um... Actually, I got nothing. I got nothing. Is it at the very least... Oh, something keeps on appearing. It's probably plant flag, isn't it? EVA report? Is this at least a different biome? No, it's not. So we gained nothing from this, but we saw a nice little crater. And really... Uh... I got nothing. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> let's just get, let's just leave this place and never return. How do I get the? Th yeah, I've got to turn off the cursor. That's right. Okay, let's just. Oh my god. Let's just 
Turn on your jetpack. There we go. Oh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. What is that? Is that different? I don't even care. I don't care. Let's just go. So, oh, this is the middle. I've, really, I've got a real knack of landing exactly in the middle of biomes. It really should, like, I should have aimed to land in a crater, like, because then the crater itself will be a biome. The slope of the crater will be a biome. And uh, the area kind of at the edge of the crater that surrounds it will be a biome as well. Like, it'll be a mid Midlands, and there'll be, like, the crater slope, and then the crater itself. Three biomes, minimal delta V to hop between them. The thing is, uh, I didn't think. <laughs> Uh, and that's all I have in terms of justifying my uh, the many mistakes that led us to this moment. Oh, and if I wanted to get things done in under an hour, I've got like almost 10 minutes. Just over 10 minutes to get us back. I'm going to make it back in the hour. Please slow down. Oh. And then it's so awkward just turning around. There we go. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program is my favorite game. <laughs> okay, we've got not much EVA propellant left. Let's go nice and slow. If we get down to 0.5, I'll just walk the rest of the way. Actually, you know what? That's what a coward would say. And we are not cowards here at Potato Aerospace. We're just idiots. Right, so. Just gonna hop nice and slow. Oh, look at that, 0.5 exactly. Oh, grab! Board! Yes! Right, and uh, let's just... let's just go! <laughs> oh, shall I be cheeky and go to another biome? No, I can't be bothered. Save game. Okay, then we're gonna open the map screen. And, um... Should I just be... No, nah, we'll do it properly. I was gonna say, should I just be... Yeah, actually, let's just be, try and be cheeky. Let's do the, the, the dumb way of getting... Oh, how do I get time warp up? There we go. We're going to do the dumb way of getting back. But it's the lazy way, which is what I'll take. Actually, I realise it will involve us having to launch in the dark. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. The money is tidily locked to Kerbin, isn't it? Forget everything I said. Don't worry. I was wait I was going to wait. Oh, now we're on the dark side. Great. I was going to say, I was going to um, time warp because I've... I was thinking this was Minmus for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, I was going to say we could time up until we're like pointing backwards along the Mun's orbit. And then we can just launch straight up. But of course, Mun is tidally locked. So we're never going to change uh, relative to Kerbin, our orientation, if that made sense. If this wasn't a live comment, I would have redone all of that. But this is, so that's, that's what you get. When you let your heart win. Please don't demonetize. Right, uh, let's just, uh, let's just go. Oh, I don't know, I wanted just slightly more throttle control than that. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just go retract the landing gear, even though it's not necessary. And away we go. The way for our perhaps is to get to a fairly high level, let's say 10, 10 kilometers. No, let's say 15 kilometers. I'm in, a, I'm in an ambitious mood. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's fifteen. Oh, bit overshot a little bit. And we've got three hundred eighty seconds, seven meters per second of delta V left, which, by my calculations, should be enough. I hope. Oh my God, will it be enough? I'll be so upset if it isn't. Oh my God, there we go. Yeah, it'd be enough. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. It's fine. Uh. Did up, 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 up. Fine, whatever. Gonna point that way. And um, we're just gonna time warp. So we're gonna just time warp up to our apoapsis point and then we can circularize. Game, please, can I warp a little bit faster? Give me some autonomy over my life. It's probably for the best. I'll probably overshoot it if I don't, if I'm just given free reign over the time warp. So one second burn, so it should be fairly boom, bush. Uh, yep, we're in an orbit. <laughs> we're not going to crash back into the surface. So we're going to close that maneuver node. And we have 350 meters per second remaining. So let's plot ourselves another maneuver node to get us back home. So we're going to click that up. Oh, God, it's so difficult. Right, I'm going to... I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh, please. Right, we're going to just click the orbit line. And we're going to just 
do this. Beautiful. And we're going to zoom out. No, I don't want to do this. Right, I'm just going to zoom out. And as you can see, it's fine. So we we can just we can eyeball it again. It doesn't really matter ultimately. <laughs> so we're just going to point towards our maneuver node. Actually, we're going to quick save as well. Uh, and then what's the button for time warp? There we go. How'd you go? I think I've I think I'm improving though at the co at this old at this whole console malarkey, right? I think you guys have mentioned it too. Like I'm getting the first episode that was just like awful. Although a lot of things went wrong, and I don't know why. In the first episode, like uh, oh, what's this called? Yeah, like I couldn't. I it, I think I built like three sounding rockets. Did I even make it to orbit in the first episode? I don't think I did. Um, it was just I was just completely unfamiliar with everything. And I think you know, given the fact it's basically been the same amount of time for that whole episode this week, but I've just done a moon landing. I'll tell you, things are going pretty well. Whoop. Uh, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Okay, never mind. Let's just go. We'll just burn. Burn, baby, burn. Da -da, da -da, da -da. How do I zoom out? Quick, zoom out! Oh my god, hang on. Just zoom out. There we go. This is all right, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the periapsis indicator because I don't want an entry as steep as the predicted maneuver node line because we'll burn up. So let's go for um uh oh! that's probably too low, but I can't be bothered to correct it. So we'll just go with that. Uh, so we'll just, there's one more thing we need to do before we can detach our lower stage, and that is time warp again. And then as we get towards the edge of the Mun Spivens, we're going to run all of our science, so we can get science from space high above the Mun. <laughs> Nearly overshot. Right, and then what's the button? Uh, action group. Oh no! What did I do? Okay, I think it's fine. We can just correct for that. Literally, it's I'm still not completely yet. There we go. I'm still not completely in tune with the uh, the game, as you, as you can see. So the throttle is up and down on the D-pad, and the action groups are left and right on the D-pad. But I'm still not. It's still not second nature to me. So I'll like um, I'll press left and right instead of up and down. Can I get a view? There we go. A view that you guys can see. Uh, we'll take the data so we can get our crew report. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter too much because we don't need to do another crew report. I guess we could do a crew report from like where we land, but at this point, it's such a minimal amount of science. Collect data, although ironically, we're going to have less science from this mission than we did on our Minmus voyage, because Minmus you get uh, more science for, despite it being an easier destination. I think it's because the science multipliers in this game uh, work on distance from Kerbin rather than actual challenge. Like, science from the surface of EVE, like returning a surface sample from EVE is one of the hardest things you can do in the game. It's the proverbial final boss. But the actual- oh, I accidentally got back on the ship. Well, whatever. I'm gonna quick save so I'm gonna faff around gathering all the science again. Um, yes, if e landing on EVE and returning from EVE with a Kerbal is one of the hardest things you can do in the game. But the actual science rewards you can get, I think it's like the same as going to Juna. Um, because Eve is very close to Kerbin, whereas an Elu landing is um, comparatively much easier. Like, it's still a challenge because it's far away, but compared to Eve, it's much, much easier. And, uh, oh, he's drifted too far away. I was too slow. Oh, hang on, I can't, I can't, I'm not very good at talking. Because I'll, I'll have to interrupt myself just to concentrate, and then by that point I've forgotten where I was, like, in my rambling. Just, just just a little bit further. Right, we're gonna just gather quick before he drifts away. Down oh, he drifted away. Try again, try again. All right, go! Download data! Oh, yes. And that's everything, I think, isn't it? We haven't got to restore the mystery goo particularly. Did I gather the temperature thing? I think I did. Yep. Yep, yep, cool. Board. Sweet! Now, there's one more thing I need to do before I detach this lower stage. In fact, there's two more things. I need to fix the uh, the very steep uh, re-entry profile I'm now on with my accidental berm. <gasps> I have time warped a bit. I thought I was focused on my ship. How do I focus on my ship? Oh, of course, there's no focus button. On PC, I know how to change focus. I do not know how to do that on console, though. 
So we'll just have to not change the focus. Unless we just drop in and out. How do you change focus? It must... There must be a way. Aha! Uh, focus! Oh, well, that's X. And I pressed X on our ship. Oh, you know, I don't even care. It doesn't matter. We don't need the map screen anymore. We need to um, run science from space hype. Oh! I did it again! Okay. We really do need to uh, be a bit more careful. Is the boom going to run? There we go. The boom was the main thing I need to do. We've got 49 meters per second. It's fine, guys. <laughs> That's going to be so embarrassing if I can't go back to Kerbin because I accidentally fire the engine. Oh, and he's he's upside down. You know what? I'm not going to bother. Let's just uh, point radial uh, out. There we go. And then he'll be the right way up, right? I think. Let's turn him to face the sun as well. Nope, can't because the curse is here. And obviously, that means everything else should be inaccessible. Oh, nice. And then we can just quickly grab everything again. So I've already got space from high above Kerbin with all of these experiments. So the only thing I need to do is grab the magnetometer and then we're done. Just... Oh, for God's sake! It's so... I'm pressing the button. Oh, it's because the blooming curse is here. There we go. I hate how there's like two control modes. One, the cursor is present so you just can't do anything. And then one when the cursor's there, where everything's really awkward and you can't really control very well. Like, there should, there should be a me At least on PS4. Like, can't the trackpad just always serve as the cursor point and then you can still do everything else? Oh, I'm just getting all cynical, aren't I? See, now it's awkward. I've got to keep dropping in and out of cursor mode to do the magnetometer experiment. All right, just slow down. Okay, download, download, download. Please, please, please. Yes. Okay, good. We did it. We made it, guys. I am so proud of this community for putting up with this, whatever this is. Right, save. And then we'll do a quick prograde burn. And we're going to watch our periapsis there. See, I'm using the cursor to indicate it because I'm professional. Um, oh my god, I'm not having enough fuel. Oh god, now that's way too high. Now it's too high. <laughs> It might not be too high, but let's go a little bit lower. Sure, whatever, fine. Save. Hey, good thing I didn't go to another biome then. I would have run out of fuel. Stage. This is where I realized I've forgotten to grab some science from it. And then we can just time warp. Zoom. Oh, I should have staged just before I entered the atmosphere, shouldn't I? That way we could have watched the fireworks. Oop, stage again. Hang on. Oh, God. Ow. There we go. <laughs> and then i got to do the time warp mode again. There we go. So awkward. <laughs> there we are. Well, um, don't really have anything else to add, really. Um, we are re-entering. It's been about an hour, so I, I didn't really quite meet my target, because by the time I've unlocked everything, we'll be well past the hour mark, I would have thought. Whatever. At this point, I'm just happy that we made it back. Well, I don't want to speak too soon. We haven't made it back yet. But things are looking pretty, uh, pretty peachy. How do I turn off SAS? There we go. Don't necessarily need it on, but it's just a bit more satisfying, so the gimbal, or not the gimbal, the reaction wheels inside the pod aren't fighting with the parachute. Oh, look, it's a tree. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, in fact, actually, I can run a um, thingy. Drop out of time warp. Drop out of time warp. Oh. And then quickly do a crew report. Crew report, crew report, crew report. Oh, forget it. Never mind. I don't even care at this point. Nice. And then we can e EVA. Oh, I've got an achievement as well. It's all worth it. I'm very sorry. I am aware that I probably get really ranty and like angry with the game playing console. What can I say? I'm just a very angry person, I suppose. Recover vessel. Let's see what rewards we got. Whew. And I personally can't wait to uh, leave this boiling hot 
sauna after this ordeal. Ah, the birds are chirping in the sky. And it's still loading. Here we go. 1306 science unlocked. So not enough to anywhere close to getting the full tech tree unlocked. But at this point, I'm thinking like, oh, shall we just, shall we just get the mum base and call it there? Uh, let's just, um, it would be nice to have the nuclear engine. So that we could potentially do, if I, if I feel like dragging this series back from the dead at some point, like I've got, I can, we can do a Juna mission. Uh, where is the Mun base? It's there. Oh, it feels like it's such a, I'm gonna just, I'll have to spend all the sides we unlocked from this mission. Just to get the Mun base, but I don't care. We did it! Yes! I'm very excited. And, uh, do I get anything else interesting? No, eh, eh, whatever. Uh, anything else I could genuinely f be useful? That would be good. Get the Apollo Command Module. And, uh, we want the nuclear engine as well. How do I, I'm pressing right on the thing. Oh, great, I'm sure. Never mind. We don't need the nuclear engine, it's, uh, it's fine. Well, there we are. Um, pfft, don't know what else to unlock, really. What do you guys reckon? I mean, we could just grab, we can grab four signs just by waddling around the KSE. I should have done a crew report for my landing point. If I'd known I was less than four science off our goal of getting the nuclear engine, I would have done it. Whatever. I can just do some, uh, as it were, mining off screen, can't I? Uh, thank you for watching, guys. There's a link to the uh, my Patreons on the left-hand side of the screen right now. They make this mess possible. Thank you all so, so much. If you want to watch more videos, there are two on screen as well. Uh, top is my most recent, is one that was chosen for you by YouTube's recommendation algorithm. Got to remember my layout properly. Bottom one is my most recent upload. There's also a link to check out my Patreon and subscribe as well. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you when I see you, whenever that may be. Goodbye.